Here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. We're dry for now, but I think through the daytime tomorrow, we will be seeing numerous showers here in southern New England. Let's take a look at that live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar again. We just got done scanning New Bedford. We're looking at Dartmouth and Westport and on over into Fall River, all dry everywhere. Our threat tracker for tonight, Monday and Tuesday, all low. But we do have the chance for showers Monday and Tuesday. Nothing overly serious, though. Our hurricane barrier cam, we are looking at great visibility. There are the hospitals, the Highway Bridge. We're looking all the way up into uh, Newport and Jamestown, that Newport Bridge connecting the two towns and cities. 48 degrees right now in Newport with a light wind, no rain in the rain gauge from today. We had a dry day, maybe a couple sprinkles here and there, but that's about it. Lower 50s in Smithfield and Providence, 40s along the south coast, 48 degrees on Block Island. Satellite radar picture showing these showers continuing to work their way southward. I think these will be missing us, but there's a big old area of low pressure just sitting up there in the low levels, high levels of the atmosphere. And we're going to be seeing little pockets of moisture, little pockets of energy zipping on down the backside of that low. And the end result for us, some occasional rain showers for tomorrow and again on Tuesday. Let's track them with our future cast. Here we are right around now. Those showers missing us. Some clouds overnight may break apart. Maybe a little bit of sunshine first thing in the morning and then notice what happens by late morning, early afternoon. We see a few rain showers and sprinkles developing and then we'll see another batch of uh, maybe a little steady rain come on through tomorrow evening after sunset. We'll see some lingering showers Tuesday morning, but notice what happens Tuesday afternoon. We begin to dry out a little bit as that weather system slowly begins to pull away. Overnight tonight, about 40 degrees with cloudy skies. Tomorrow morning, a little bit of sun, but showers arriving late morning. Temperatures at 8 a.m. around 46 degrees. In the afternoon, about 55, so still kind of chilly, especially with that lack of sun. Some scattered showers around during the afternoon tomorrow. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast, and we are looking at 50s for the next couple of days. Tomorrow, uh, excuse me, Tuesday, starting off the day with a few showers, and then we'll be slowly drying out throughout the afternoon hours. For Wednesday, looks a little warmer, starting out in the 40s, climbing up into the mid 60s during the afternoon, maybe a little warmer further inland. Thursday, sun to clouds, but I think we'll be dry on Thursday. Now, we are monitoring a potential storm system that'll be passing off to our south late in the week. If it completely it could completely miss us and we could have a sunny day, but for now we've got the chance of rain and wind in the forecast for Friday. It may linger into early Saturday, but Sunday looking good. Sunshine, 65 degrees. So tomorrow, I think we'll start off dry, but later in the day you'll need the umbrella. I got excited for a second. I thought there was a high of 80 on Saturday, but that's a six. It's a six. My yes. eyes are playing tricks. I'm also hoping that <laughs> soon enough. All right, TJ, thanks. Still to come tonight. More concerns tied to the